James Van Prague says he can see the dead. He says that he can talk to them, that he can hear their thoughts, and he even feels their emotion. Again, um, his book is number one on the New York Times bestsellers list without ever being on the Oprah Winfrey show. Uh, <laughs> so I want to know, what is the book? Uh, and in reading the book, you describe in first grade Right. Your first experience with, was right. it Mrs. Weinlich? Mrs. Weinlich. 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 In the first grade when you right. first... I knew something. What happened was she came in the room crying or something. I said, your son is going to be okay. He was in a car accident. He just broke his leg, but he'll be all right. And This then, was in a Catholic school? Catholic school, first grade. Mm -hmm. And later the principal came in and she said, can I speak with you please to the teacher? Brought the teacher out and indeed this had happened. And she said to me afterwards, would you please stay after school? I need to talk to you. And she said, everything you said is true. And I started crying. And she said, that's OK. Because you started crying because you thought you had I caused thought it to I happen. I caused the accident. Uh -huh. And she said, no, God gives certain people gifts of these things. And you're blessed with this. It'll, you'll help people one day with it. Tell me what you, in your opinion, right. believe to be true about the dead. First of all, you believe there's no such thing as death? Correct. That it's just a transition? Right, a transition. Okay. Because we're all energy, and energy cannot die. We are all energy. Energy means molecules which move at a certain rate of speed. And at times, but the spirit body lies within the physical body, and it vibrates at a very, very quick rate. At the time of death, we leave our bodies and go to that spirit world. And that's what happens. And when they come back to this world to speak with us and communicate, they slow down their vibration to a level that a medium, a sensitive like myself, is able to pick up these feelings and thoughts. If they do indeed come back, right. and you just say they have to lower their frequency to come back, That's right. why don't they just say, my name is Jay so-and-so. It would be a lot easier for me if they would say that, I'll tell you. Yeah, and I lived on such and such a street, and my mother was Robin so-and-so, and that was it. Because there are many factors involved. Because of the atmosphere, these frequency conditions, how quickly they vibrate, mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard for them to lower themselves and to actually feed the medium, the mind the medium, thoughts that, that they can understand. Also, the media might not be picking it up correctly. I might not know how to interpret this stuff. I okay. hear bits and pieces of things, because it's so fast, it's so quick, uh -huh. that's just bits and pieces, really, really fast. Then sometimes they come through with really strong details, and other times, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Okay, so, could they just say, my name is Burke, for example? Sure, yeah. sure, they have, they have, yeah. sure they have. And it depends on how the spirit wants to communicate. Some are more, commu some more uh, visual, some uh -huh. more auditory, some more communicate more, speak more, so.